Snap sure again. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today, I'm actually going to be coloring my hair. I do have some lock extensions in. And the hair that I'm going to be coloring is actually the blend pieces that are in the front. And so, I've been thinking about it for a while and I haven't had the time to do it. But right now, I do have like some special so, The colors I'm going to do is red, yellow, and green. Well, for the green and the yellow, I'm going to be using Color Charm paints. It's from Wella, it's a demi permanent color. You don't have to mix it with peroxide or anything like that. The red color I'm going to use is Kiss. The only reason why I'm using this is because I couldn't find the red inside the color charm paints. So, I mean, but I still like this stuff. So, this is a semi permanent color. It's in the color Ruby Red, and I'm going to be using this um, for the red color. So, what I'm about to do right now is find all of the bun pieces um, that is in my hair. Wowzers. Okay. I think I got it all. I did. So I'm just going to take a rubber band really quick and just uh, move this out of my way. So now I'm just going to um, pull all of this hair to the back. So what I'm doing right now, I'm just laying my hair flat so that I can get a good feel of like where the panels should be. I know it's not going to be extremely perfect, but I'm trying to get as perfect as I can. So seven in each section. So the first color I'm gonna do is the yellow one. Okay, so I have the yellow out and I have three rubber bands at the ready. So I'm gonna use the yellow first because I'm gonna use the yellow first because it's the lightest color and it'll be easy for me to go from yellow and then go into the green color. And so that way it doesn't mix really bad. But after I do the green, I'm just gonna wash my gloves really quick and then do the red at the end since it's the darkest color. Um, so the yellow. So what I'm gonna do, this, my hair is shampoo, it is clean and um, towel dried and it has been drying all day. It's probably a little bit damp, but that's okay. Um, you want to use like demi permanent color and semi permanent color on clean hair, and then once you're done like distributing the color and letting it sit for the allotted time period, and I believe this is 45 minutes, then you want to rinse it out with cool water until the water runs clear. So I'm about to go ahead and I'm, I'm gonna just squeeze this into my hand like so. So I'm just um, squishing the color in there. It's kind of like resembling chalk a little bit. I'm squishing the yellow in. So now I'm just gonna grab a little bit more. Wow, I feel like this yellow isn't gonna stick. It's going on there really good. Um, yeah, it's looking really good. Okay, now that I'm done, putting the color through here. I'm just gonna take it to get it out the way, twist it up a bit, and do like a Bantu knot. I'm about to go ahead and do the green, which would be this panel right here. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, that could be really cute if I like unbraided, like faded out of the green. And then what I just did is my hair is laying flat right now. And so I split this into two between my fingers. And then um, I just painted one side and did the other side. And now I'm about to just squish it all together to get it through there evenly. You're a me one, Mr. Grinch. Feel like it's gonna be dope. Just filling in any blank spots that I see. Bantu knot this up. I know it's far away from the red, but I also don't want it like touching my skin and like whatever. So I'm just gonna bantu knot the green up. So this is the last one. 
Oh, this is gonna be so cute. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in my hair. So I'm holding it. I'm gonna start at the top. Please don't get everywhere. But on my hair. Ooh. I just put a stain on the yellow part. I did not think about that. Let's see if I can get this off. Darn it. Oh well. Okay, so I'm back. <laughs> I'm finally done coloring the red portion. And so just so I can make sure I don't bump that again, I'm not gonna bantu knot this one. I'm just gonna braid it down. But I also don't want it making any more stains myself. So what I'm about to do is take a um, processing cap and wrap it around this um, red color it's right here. So I'm just gonna um, <laughs> wrap this up in a processing cap like so um process for 15 minutes so i'm just gonna do the standard 15 minutes um and while it's processing i'm gonna try to correct this yellow that i just messed up but we're gonna process for 20 minutes and i'll be back to rinse it out so I'm going to go ahead and rinse this out. So I'm going to use the hardest pressure to rinse out the color. And I'm going to rinse each section out with cool water until it turns clear. So I'm going to start with the, um, the red first because it's the darkest, I guess. I'm looking for my glasses. Much better. Okay, so I just got done blow drying my hair. Um, and I, when I, I looked in the mirror and I noticed that I forgot one. I don't feel like going back in right now and putting color on that one single lock. I'm just going to put like beads and stuff on that one just to give it a little bit more, you know character but I'm gonna go ahead and show you all the back of my head let's see it's a good view I like it the colors came out really really bright they came out brighter than I thought they would um and then also when I pull it to the front you can get that red and yellow over here you know I mean the green and yellow and then just pull that over here. As of right now, I am enjoying this color. Just go get your stuff. Just go get your stuff. Miss me leaving shit I care about somewhere and not going to get that. I I'm back and I'm about to go. It is definitely the next day um, and take care of some business before it turns like actual nighttime. But here is my um my style reveal. So I did end up braiding all my hair down. I did not take a picture of the braids, um, but I didn't like the way they were laying, so I decided to just bantu knot the braids. It's the back. I'm gonna go ahead and take this paper off. I'll try to do the little edges that I have right here. Just hopefully it doesn't look bad. So we're about to see right now. Crazy, I have paper everywhere. It's always that last little bit that I don't want to tear. And that rhymed well. It's not too bad. Not too shabby. Got my edges laid or tried to be laid at least. My little accent piece. I kind of like this little dangly dang, but I kind of <laughs> dangly thing. I kind of don't. I'm trying to figure out how I want it to lay. But so here's the um my haircut. I really enjoy doing this, but 
Thank you for joining me in the video today. So we got what two things in one, well three things in one. I did a color, I did a style, then I did a style on top of that style. So this is what I'm working with right working with right now. That is a tongue twister. And I think I'm I don't think I actually do like it a lot. Even though it's like a little uneven, I still like what's going on right here. And it's serving a purpose. So thank you for, for coming and watching my video. Um, let me know what you think about my hair and the colors and the style that I just did. And also let me know what you think about these beads I got hanging. Let me know what you think. Like the video if you haven't already liked it. Subscribe so you can see more videos from me. And also, like I said earlier, leave a comment in the comments box and let me know how I'm doing or let me know what you think about this video. Until next time, natural healing out. <laughs>